Hello, I'm John Joe. This is Lime War. Welcome, as we have today, a crate match that was uh, suggested by Tomark. Uh, thank you for including me in the message. Uh, we have a three versus four, as you can see. Down in this section of the map is where Alpha Team, the three players, will be. Let's turn off Fog of War, and then we can see where the enemy started, which are here, 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 and here across the map. So it looks like top left is going for a bit of eco. We're in times two, if you're wondering why things are popping up a bit faster than they might, should have. And so who is this one? This one looks like Leotech. And we've got Lewis or Dumbass, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's Dumbass up there. I feel bad calling I'm going to call him TW. <laughs> then we got Louis down here, or Lewis. And co Cobbs on the Cob over there. We've got a bit of a tank rush coming out here from Tomac in the centre. Snow is in this section here, and Romad down in the bottom there. Those tanks are rushing up straight in towards that energy well over there. Trying to make sure I don't miss. I can imagine the early game, the three-player team is going to be trying to take out someone very quickly to balance out the game a bit more. I'm guessing that's mostly going to happen with the tanks, as Snow is over on the left trying to take on... A bit of a defense more than anything else. He's not trying to attack. He's just trying to get in and set up some boundaries between them and the enemy. The energy wall is going to probably go down here. We've got some artillery moving in with mostly infantry. But these tanks are going to outmaneuver them and go round. Their next target, I can only imagine, is going to be this airfield if they can get in there. But they may end up just going round it. There's a few artillery here that might take out these tanks. I assume there's going to be another wave of tanks coming in. There's a single tank coming in. But there's another group of tanks coming in down here as Lewis, I think it is. No, this is TW. Coming down with some tanks of his own. Trying to help defend his neighbor there. And there is definitely a few more tanks. But there's a helicopter helping Tomok in support in this area. I don't know if it's enough in the first instance. But it's definitely helping out. And now we do have some other tanks coming in. We've got three moving up in this section now. Which is really doing some good there. But the airfield does remain. It looks like the airfield was protected by a helicopter of their own. And now, Lewis is going to be coming down through the south while Tumac is distracted by TW. Not such a dumb move from someone called Dumbass. <laughs> Over here, it looks like Snow's been pushed back a little as well. The artillery is moving in towards this section here, potentially threatening this town. The tanks here are a bit harassed by this helicopter. They need to get some SAM out, especially as they know they do have some SAM units coming out of one factory there. They know of the air threats. They need to be working on that. I haven't got commands on for everyone, but then it's a bit chaotic. Just <laughs> if you're wondering. I will keep commands on for everyone for a bit. I think everyone seems to like them. If you don't, then let me know. Lewis is going for some eco over here, which isn't too bad of a move, especially when he seems to be trapped between his ally pretty much on both sides. So he needs to try and increase his economy somehow. One single helicopter moving in over here. And again, no air protection over here. I'm assuming they don't believe they need it. And we haven't seen Romad for a while. And that's because he's been building a city down here. and Which has been helping him with a massive boost in eco. He's got a town here as well. He could have a docks. But I can imagine he's now going to be trying to push in. So far in this game, it has pretty much been snow. Focusing mostly this way. Quantum has set up a defense over here. And Tomac has been defending against two players while the green player has mostly been capturing territory. And building up some eco of his own. So they haven't had to worry about green until now. And it looks like they are doing a great team effort here in trying to make sure that they stay alive as a team down in the south. Snow is slowly building up a slightly larger force than the opponent on the left, which is Leo. And Leo is still building up some eco of his own. He's got a town. I don't think he actually has anything else. Oh, he's got another industry there, so he's doing okay. But he's capturing a lot of territory in the north with some infantry there. And Tomark is actually now starting to push back against TW up here. At the cost of leaving himself exposed to the right. But that is his trust in Romad as he pushes units in through that way. And these units are most... A lot of... Well, a fair few of them are coming in through this section as well. Which I wouldn't suggest doing. 
I mean, Tomark, unless you want to just protect your ally, I suppose. But if you wanted to try and take out Tomark, you probably want to just try and bring in more units this way. They do have Sam on this side now. And those Sam are going to be taking a lot of damage from these helicopters in the first engagement there. And they're out of energy. The helicopters are black smoking. So they're not going to be taking flight anytime soon. They're sharing energy at the minute. So that's how Lewis is actually getting his energy at the moment. It's through shared economy or energy. So that is going to be a bit of a struggle. He does have his own energy while being built now, but that is in a bit of a high-risk zone. Over on the left-hand side, Snow is kind of circling around his opponent. We've got some units over here into the actual base. They're going to take out a factory here, I think. This is a bit of an unprote unprotected uh, factory that they did manage to snipe. They are on the move, going for this town next, but they do have some artillery to contend with soon. Over in the center, Romad and Tomark are moving up, trying to focus down TW's assault with the tanks. He's not letting them build up, though. It's definitely hard when you're being attacked by two players, but then they are also contending with two players to the right as well. Is that commandos going out there? We've got a black and white flag there. I think that means it's a team effort. They've got... Yeah, so these are green units coming over to pink's airstrip there to help give them some extra range. I assume that's what that flag means. We've got interceptors out from Tomark, but we don't see interceptors that often. Not in groups trying to actually actively take out enemies. The interceptors usually do get taken out quite easily, but the helicopters are far into enemy territory, making them well worth it in this situation. Snow is slowly decimating over here. Leo is struggling to build up any form of counterforce here. But then on that side of it, for team one to have one player allowed to focus down one player, that's actually a decent trade-off in some respect because then he can just destroy the one player while the others focus on protecting him and letting him just get away with that. Those tanks are struggling to get past anything in this section here. PW is sending units in and they're just dying in this section. But they are take they took out the tanks there and the artillery and now they're potentially going for that Sam. I don't think he's got any air units of his own, but they do have some power plants up in the north here. But I don't think that's TW's, I think that was Leo's. I think they're gonna just keep him alive for a while. So we've got helicopters moving away from that section down here. And now they're moving back over there. <laughs> On the other hand, Green has finally taken over this whole section. He's got quite a large portion of the map. Let's have a quick look on the outskirts. So this is what Alpha Team currently have in regards to territory. And Bravo Team have about 75% of the map. Maybe a bit less. Maybe about 68. I don't know. I am roughly estimating. I suppose it's not too important. But Green does have a lot of cities they could start building. And they, they kind of need to in this. So let's have a look at six. So yeah, it's got a lot of economy. Let's have a look at all the economy, actually. So if we just center ourselves a bit better. Over here we have, from Tomark, only 550. That's all he's been dealing with because he's only got this area. He doesn't have much to actually eco with. Then Romad has 800, and that's partly because of the town, docks, and the city. Snow has 600, so he's doing all right for the eco he's got now. He's pretty much taken out Leo over in that section. Leo's bringing his units down this way instead. So they don't have a lot, to be honest. So we've got 500, 650, let's say 1,200, plus the 800, about 2,000 total economy. Then Leo has 400, but then he's practically been destroyed. Louis has 500, and he's trapped between his allies. Green it has 1,000, and TW has 500. I'm trying to work that out now. I can't actually remember the numbers, but I'm, it's definitely above Alpha Teams, but I'm not sure how much by. I don't want to go for it. I don't want to keep going over them because I keep forgetting. So, 
Over here, we've got more factories coming out from TW, which we're looking at now. He does have the economy to support that, which is good. But it looks like Leo is losing out on pretty much everything they had. As we can see, he started to build up over here. He set up a defense that way to focus any units coming this way. It's a good little choke point to hold with a mountainous area there. We'll slow down units in that section. And it looks like Louis is just trying to cut off any zones that can, people could try and come through. Allowing everyone to focus their attention here. But that does just mean that the bottom two groups over here are going to be trying to push through the right hand side. Instead, and they're focusing more of their energy against the other players instead and they're dropping in green is dropping in on this town and he's got quite a few quite a bit of damage here quite a few people have noticed that tomox even brought his helicopters in to take out that commando it does go down i don't know if he's gonna try and build up a few more and send them all in as a group next time but i'm gonna try and keep an eye on what he plans to do over there over in this section, we now have Leo's tanks being sent in. And I, I'm struggling to see how Leo can afford this with energy, but he does have a lot of energy, actually. It's mostly running off power plants, and I don't think he's got any other versions. Four silos. He's just got one big silo there and a few power plants. And he's doing pretty good, though, with the tanks. And well, to be fair, they have just run into artillery and they're going down, so it's not too surprising that they're okay with the energy supply there. As we see TW trying to focus some tanks in through that section, we'll have a quick look over here. We literally have a full team effort in this section here from Alpha Team. We have some of Tomark's tanks and infantry, artillery from Snow and infantry as well. And Romad is sending in infantry supported by SAM units to stop any air units taken out anything in this section and they're pushing through fairly nicely the opponents here which bravo team are actually doing a good job at trying to suppress the attacks here they've even focused off this section so that they can just funnel units through the here without having to worry about this side and i think those sam's just scouted out this section here and are just coming back now and these tanks are just trying to push through but the artillery supported by tanks as a meat shield is making it a bit of a struggle actually for anyone to get through in that section. I want to keep an eye on Snow over here because he does have a bit of an army that he has noticed. He is pushing through there. He's got some defense here and he's going to be trying to assault literally just an attack command. And it doesn't look like they're following it. I'm not sure exactly why. Unless that's a defense command that I can't see or some other command. I don't know. They'll probably follow it soon. Or it could be a command left over by Leo, and I'm just getting confused. Those commandos have been sent off once again. Are they coming in for the city? It doesn't look like it. No, they're coming in down here. And he has boats for this as well. He's claimed the land, and he's got boats being able to transport them in. It looks like he had the aircraft on their first instead of the boats probably because he's getting these commandos out first up in this section the energy well looks like it's under fire and it's probably going to go down soon there's a bit too much of an army in this section it goes down they both lose their connection because they were connected through that energy well there let's have a quick look at the entire map now because alpha team have expanded quite nicely over there and snow is setting up an attack here and it is going to start slowly pushing through. Most of this defense is infantry, so they're not going to survive very long against these artillery. Having an artillery defense here would have been perfect in the mountains. Having it maybe just push back a little because you could have the defense having a firing on slower moving units. Now the choke point is here, which is a problem because that's the energy and the town. Because these units are going to be able to circle around and get a bit more maneuverability here until they get to this choke point, and that's where they're going to have to funnel through. So unfortunately, I think due to the situation, Lewis has already lost this section here, unless he can seriously push back. Romad and Snow here. It looks like Tomac is focused on the north section. Green is trying to push through in the south, and he's even got tanks down there being dropped off by transport boats. 
And they could have, they've missed an opportunity, I think, here. They could, they might have had to have dealt with some tanks, but they could have took out the energy well. And that would have been one of two energy wells that Alpha Team own. They keep sending an aircraft over here, but they're getting shot down instantly. We just saw one go down as I came in over this area. <coughs> and as more come in, they're going down before they can even turn around. And still, Tumark is dealing with a few units here as they broke the defensive line here to try and help prevent them going forward. We've got some of Romad units here as well, and they're progressing with some artillery in this section. It looks like Snow's about to start doing the same thing. We've got artillery being placed here. That's going to be trying to focus this down, and the artillery in this section have now pushed through, and they're coming into here now. We've got Leo bringing some units in to try and stop them, but he has run out of energy. He's actually lost the energy wells over there. I'm not sure why. Or en not energy wells, power plants. And we've got Purple trying to bring in some units around to the back of this artillery line. Or Bob. And they're just trying to get in there to do any damage they can. And that one decided to have a look off in the distance. He just wanted a bit of a scenic route. And there is absolutely no air defense here. So these helicopters are going to do perfect in this area right now. We do have some SAM units coming in. So they won't be able to get in that free damage for long. But they are going to be able to do some damage for now. How's Green doing in the south here? He does have some of the territories. He still hasn't noticed this energy well he could exploit and try and take out. But he is starting to bring in some more units. It is presenting an extra front that Alpha Team will have to deal with. But in this situation, I think they're doing alright. I think even though it's nice that Leo hasn't actually given up. He's found a territory and he's hiding out on it. And he's still supporting his allies until the very end whether he wins or lose. So Green's bringing in quite a few tanks into this section. We've got three, back, four backed up by artillery. And they're trying to save this town here, which is going to be a bit of a problem. They should be able to do it if they can sell up this defensive line, at least for a little bit. But the defensive line needs to be pretty much artillery, and in this situation it's going to be hard either way. But we've got transport boats down here, don't we? They are obviously needed for this section, but if we could get some over here, we might be able to try and transfer some units this way to help even up this defensive line here for a little while. And Tomark is now pushing in quite strongly in the north. TW is in quite a bit of danger here, as well as Leotex. This is his last place as well. And Snow is pushing in from the left, Tomark from the south. And they are pretty much trapped there right now. And once that breaks, which now they're forced to come in through this side to try and stop any reinforcements coming through, it's going to thin up the front lines on this section is allowing Snow and Roma to stop this defensive line. And they've still got it on defense, which means these units are literally just going to walk into the artillery fire right now. They need to turn this into an orange command at least for a little while so that they can just get in and get some damage done maybe, or at least pull back because there's just too much artillery there. I think at this point the only answer would be multiple nukes. Um, and even then, that's just a quick fix. It's not going to solve the total problem uh, with the enemy outproducing out you when it comes to gravity. And they're still bringing in units from this section, but I think Romad and Snow is now moving in with some units down here. But they've both managed to take that back, pretty much. I don't think it's going to build any structures down here, so there's not going to be anything to really hold. This defensive line is still up and running, which is causing a lot of losses here. Poor Bravo team. And now both three players, all three of the players here are on a front line here against TW and soon to be Leo afterwards. And unfortunately, there we go, I think they've waved the white flag. That was Louis, so that's over this side. He's quit now. Green is on his own on the right-hand side. Leo's now quit, so I think that's game over from Bravo team. As TW is about to end up waving the white flag, leaving Green on his own. Now, it would be absolutely amazing if we can see a comeback from Green taking out three players. And the title of this video would be very different. 
But as you can see, we haven't got much time left on the video anyway, on the replay. So there's one structure left. He's got these two in the ocean. I don't know if that's really going to help much. But that does mean a lot of these forces can redirect to this section over here, leaving a few to expand. And then, there we go, green has gone as well. TW is literally left on his... I've just realised. They've tried to write something here. I'm not sure. TH, Al... OV. I'm not sure what that's meant to say. I mean, maybe there's an I. There's a happy face. <laughs> I'm impressed with the creativity. I was surprised not to see a GG written in the What was there. <laughs> Let me know if you understood what that said in the comments below. I T H. I can't remember now. OV, maybe? Anyway, let me know what you thought of that battle. To be fair, Bravo team had a total um, economy higher than Alpha team, and Alpha team still managed to win. The upkeep was about the same, and the energy produced was definitely higher for Bravo team. But the problem lies with units lost worth, which was about 30% more, to be fair. There's 13,000 more, about 50% extra. Anyway, let me know what you think of that video. There are two videos on screen right now. Feel free to click on one and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.